Finance is a profession that you cannot live in a vacuum to do. You have to have people in your life that understand what you do. And that's not just, that's not lay people. I'm talking about people who do what you do, who you can vent to, who you can tell your problems to, and they will understand. Now, how can social media help us? Social media gives us the opportunity to share our stories. The English author Harold Goddard, he wrote, the destiny of the world is determined less by the battles that are lost and won than by the stories it loves and believes in. Ryan was celebrating his eighth birthday, sitting on an exam table in my clinic. But the party crowded around him. They weren't there to celebrate. You see, his mom, his dad, and even his grandfather were there in my office with him. And they were all decked out, head to toe, in gear from Ryan's Little League baseball team. But now, they were holding their breath, waiting for my diagnosis of his shoulder pain. You know, we're putting all this pressure on ourselves. It, a lot of us comes from us. Some of it may be, you know, nature versus nurture. You may have grown up in a household where you had a very strong uh, female or male presence or a tiger mom or someone who was on you. You know, you have to do this, you have to make straight A's, you have to do this, you have to help the family. Or maybe we adopted it through school. Where In addition to his medical and mental health issues, Brian had also just lost his job and he lost custody of his son, which drove him deeper into depression. Ashamed but desperate, he started to use heroin to relieve his pain and suffering. And he just couldn't stop. At 28, where's most, where are most physicians? We are not <laughs> in a position to be able to walk away, right? We're, in most cases, at least $200,000 in debt. In some cases, $600,000, $700,000 in debt. We've made a lot of sacrifices. That's exactly my intent, is to make life with diabetes just a little bit easier. So I actually developed an app, first with a medical student, and then took full time with a startup in Columbus, Ohio. We're gonna talk about the art of human care and I'm going to share some stories that have been very influential to me that have provided me with some enlightenment. What I do know is that the death of my father and that night in the ICU were signposts in my journey. But they can't define me. Only I can do that. But more importantly, I noticed then, and I notice it now too, we do such a good job of using social media and the internet to tell people what we know, but we do a lousy job of telling people who we are. I enjoyed Dr. Lynette Charity's talk immensely. I found it very useful and applicable to my current practice, and I can relate to her journey. And Kevin Foe was Knock the Lights Out fantastic, probably the highest rated speaker that we've ever had um, here at HCIC. Speaks from the heart. Um, her honesty was uh, very rewarding um, and it was very invigorating. 